What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another favorites video for you. Today we are talking about my Halloween must-have nail polishes and this is a little bit of an offshoot to my favorite nail polishes series but usually I will either do my favorites of all time which are polishes that might not be available currently or I'll do my favorites for this specific season including only polishes that came out this season. But today is a little bit different because we are doing my favorites of all time but I'm only focusing on on polishes that are available to get currently. So it's really the best of both worlds here, including older polishes, but ones that you can still get if you're interested in grabbing them. So yeah, I've got 15 favorite Halloween nail polishes that are all currently available. I'm gonna link them all in the description so you can grab them if you're interested. And then of course I had to do some honorable mentions. So I do have three honorable mentions that are not currently available, but if by chance you happen to find them somewhere, I highly recommend grabbing them if you can. So yeah, let's just get started. So my first favorite is a little bit of a biased pick. I'm just gonna get it out of the way first. If you didn't know, I did just release a collaboration with Orly and it is a Halloween collection. And obviously I recommend those for Halloween because that's what I created them for. But if I could only pick one polish in the collection, the one that I would say is the most Halloween-y would be my topper Wing It. And this one is a bat-shaped glitter topper. And this was originally only available as part of the full set, but we have gotten so many requests to sell Wing It individually, so Orly has agreed to release a very limited run of them. So now Wing It is available individually. It's the only shade in the collection that you can get on its own, and like I said, it's a limited run, so I had to include it in the list. I know it's biased. The rest aren't as biased, I promise, but this one I obviously love, so now is your chance. You can get it individually, or if you just want backup bottles of it, it is available on the Orly website, so I'll link that down below. So that's my first pick, but like I said, I know that one is biased, but let's move on to some unbiased favorites. Next up, we have China Glaze Ruby Pumps. Now looking at this one on its own, I feel like a lot of people would see this and think that maybe it's a more holiday shade, and I agree with that, but I will always think of this one in my heart as a Halloween nail polish. It's just this really beautiful, full coverage, intense red glitter. I always think of it as a Halloween shade because when I first got it, it was around the Halloween season and the first thing I did with it was make little claws and do like a triangle over a nude nail polish and it just looked like really awesome bloody fantasy claws and so in my mind this is a Halloween shade and that's exactly why I'm recommending it because I just feel like it's the perfect vampy glittery red. It's so eye-catching. It's so gorgeous. It's perfect for nail art but you can also wear it on its own. I honestly don't think my video does this one justice because it is so so pretty in real life and it is a part of China Glaze's core line so it's available any time of year and I think you can really make it work any time of year so it's just kind of a double whammy you can get it for a lot of seasons. Next up we have ILNP Pumpkin Patch. Now this one I believe is the only one on the list that is a new polish and I really tried my best to pick polishes from previous seasons but I absolutely had to include this one because it is stunning. It's this really gorgeous jelly base that has these orange and gold flakies running throughout and this was a part of their fall 2022 collection, their first fall collection of the year and I just cannot get enough of it. I immediately wore it and it just feels like the perfect Halloween shade. I always love a good orange color but I especially love this one because the flakies just make it so eye-catching and unique to my collection. So had to include this one. The rest are a little bit older but I do love this. I think they tend to come out with really good Halloween specific collections but I I don't know, this one just felt like a great pumpkin-y, halloween -y kind of color. Just seeing this sort of lit from within golden flaky shining through the jelly base just kind of reminds me of like jack-o'-lanterns, so I had to include it. <laughs> Next up we have OPI Susie Needs a Locksmith, and I think in general OPI comes out with some really stunning oranges, especially for the fall season, but this one in particular I think is just the perfect mix of being saturated enough that it works really well for Halloween nailer but not too bright that it feels very summery. It's this perfect medium orange cream shade. It has a great formula. It's really opaque, so it's really good for nail art. Like I said, it doesn't have that sort of neon quality that I associate with summery polishes, but it also doesn't feel like that kind of burnt orange that makes me think a little bit more of Thanksgiving, but it also works really well for Thanksgiving. It's just a really gorgeous orange shade. If you don't have a good orange cream in your collection, this is the one you should pick up. Speaking of neons, we have 
Orly Neon Paradise. And this one is actually a summer color. It's this super vibrant neon green that sort of has this like lime yellowy kind of undertone to it. And even though this is technically a summer shade, this to me just feels like the ideal evil Halloween kind of color. There is just something about a neon green and a neon purple, especially together, that just feels so Halloween-y to me. I don't know if it's just like ectoplasm or like a glow-in-the-dark kind of feel, but there's just something about this that feels like the perfect Halloween color. I can imagine just really gorgeous neon green drips on your nail, or even just wearing it on its own. Just feels like a fun shade. You can do a little Frankenstein's monster nail art with it as well. Had to include this one. It is a little bit on the sheer side. It does take three coats for me, and it's just barely there in three coats when my nails are a little bit longer. So if you have longer nails, you're definitely going to need more coats for this. But once it hits full coverage, it's just the perfect shade. Okay, we have another biased one. This is another collaboration from a previous set that I've done with Orly. This one is Kelly's Green. This one was also originally intended to be a summer nail polish. But this one, when I made it and when I first saw it, I just had Halloween in mind. I don't know. Like I said, there's something about a neon green that just feels very Halloween-y to me. But this one is a little bit cooler toned. It has a little bit more of that bluish undertone to it, but it does warm up a little bit because you have a golden shimmer running throughout. So it's a really fun shade. It's another kind of like gooey ectoplasmic kind of color. Definitely has that sort of neon vibrance to it. And I just think it's perfect for Halloween nail art. But again, I also think it's fun to wear on its own. And again, I'm very biased about this one because I did help create it, but I absolutely love it. It is still currently available. So I got to recommend it. But this one is another one that would be a little bit on the sheer side if you have longer nails. When I have short nails, I can wear it in two coats. When my nails are a little bit longer, it does take three. I would say it's a little bit more opaque than Neon Paradise, but it still needs more coats than the average polish. Next up, we have Essie High Voltage Vinyl. And this is yet another green because I love green nail polish and we have a few of them that I'm going to be sharing today. But this one was, I believe this was from last year's fall collection. And I immediately fell in love with it when I tried it. First of all, the formula is incredible, but the color itself is also gorgeous. It's this super deep olive green kind of shade. And then we have this sort of yellowish green shimmer running throughout. And it does feel like a great fall color, but there's something about that kind of swampy olivey green that also feels very Halloween-y to me. I feel like I'm not articulating very well why things feel Halloween-y, but hopefully you can sense the vibe in the video that some of these just feel like they belong to the Halloween season, you know? But yeah, I absolutely loved this formula. I thought it was super gorgeous on the nail. I thought it was really impressively opaque. And I just think it's a great color that you can wear this whole season. <laughs> I feel bad that I keep on putting collab shades in here, but this is my last one, I promise. I just really wanted to include Starly Fractal. This is actually an older release. And as of the filming of this video, it is sold out, but it's not discontinued or anything. It just happens to be sold out when I'm filming this, but it is an available polish once it is available. I just feel again like this is such a Halloween-y kind of green color. It's this black jelly that has multi-chromatic flakies running throughout and the main color that you see is this bright vibrant green but around the edges it looks a little bit gold and then into fuchsia and I just feel like that color combination again just feels very swampy. It feels like it could be like a mysterious evil kind of color and it just feels like a good deep dark kind of Halloween shade. But there is a little bit of brightness to it. It does have a scattered hollow sparkle. So when you're hitting it with direct light, you can see that brightness to it. So I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot going on in the polish. I think it's a very fun Halloween-y kind of color. And I just feel like this is the perfect season to break out Fractal. Next up, we have a shade from Picture Polish. This one is Resend. And this one is actually a pretty simple shade. It's just a black hollow nail polish. But I think this one is a little bit different from my other black hollow polishes because this one has a larger scattered hollow fleck running throughout. And I just think that makes it a pretty special one. I think black hollow in general feels like a great Halloween kind of color to wear on your nails because it's dark, it's deep, but then you also get that beautiful rainbow going on. And I really wanted to include one. And I just think this one is particularly special because of that little fleck running throughout. And I also just love the picture polish formula in 
general. I feel like I haven't talked about them enough recently, but they are just super opaque and they also have a plant-based formula, which I feel like they don't really talk about a lot, but I do love that they have a plant-based formula and they're also breathable and I just think they're really good polishes. Next up, we have another shade from ILMP. This one is Eclipse and this one is a black multi-chrome nail polish. So head on, it does look like this deep black color, but in other lighting situations, you can see a lot of red in it. And then that also kind of shifts around into orange, into yellow, into green, even into blue around the edges. So you really get the full rainbow in here. But the reason it's very Halloween-y to me is because of that sort of black and red main coloring that you see. And I know that this isn't the only nail polish brand that has this specific black multi-chrome, but this was the first one that I ever tried in this new color. And I think that was in fall 2020. And that was when all the brands came out with their own version of this as well. But since ILMP was the first one I tried, I feel like that one has like a special place in my heart. So this is always the color when I pick up when I want that black multi-chrome. And it's really beautiful. It is a little bit sheer, so it does take three coats for full coverage, but I think it's absolutely worth it. Next up, we have China Glaze Keep It Realm, which I imagine is a pun on keep it real, but real and realm just do not sound the same. So I never know how to say it. <laughs> but this one is another previous Halloween shade. And for whatever reason, it is currently still available, which I feel like is odd because China Glaze Halloween polishes tend to sell out really fast and then just never be available again. So I absolutely love this one. I figured I would share it because it is currently available. And basically it's just this really gorgeous deep cool toned purple. And then we have this duochrome shimmer running throughout. So head on, it looks more like a purple fuchsia kind of color. And then it leans into the red, orange, gold kind of shades. And even around the edges at extreme angles, you actually see just the tiniest hint of blue. It's a very beautiful shade. It feels a little bit multi-chromatic and I just love purple nail polish. And I feel like this is a great Halloween shade because you kind of get a lot of colors within one polish. Moving on, we have yet another ILNP. This one is called Jinx. I believe this was from last year's Halloween collection and it's a cool toned purple jelly, so I couldn't resist it. But within that cool toned purple jelly, we do get these iridescent flakies and they're mostly leaning a little bit orange, but we get some pinky ones. And then we also get a little bit of green. And I just feel like that color combination just feels so perfect for Halloween. It's deep, it's dark. Again, it's kind of vampy, but you see still get all of the fun Halloween colors. To me, Halloween is purple, orange, and green, especially when the orange and the green are a little bit on the brighter side. So yeah, I absolutely love this one. You know I love jelly nail polishes. I love flaky nail polishes, and I just think it's really beautiful. Again, this one is a three-coater. I find that a lot of ILNP polishes are three-coaters on me, but they do have a really soft, thin formula, so it's easy to build up without feeling like you have too much on your nails. Next up, we have Orly Synthetic Symphony. I feel like I've been talking about this polish so much recently, but it is one of my favorite nail polishes of all time. So I feel like it deserves the love that I give it. And this one is a cool toned purple neon cream. I have a lot of polishes that are similar to this. I actually did a whole cool toned purple comparison recently, which you can check out if you're interested, but this one will always remain my favorite. I just think that it has that sort of neon brightness to it, but it's also still cool cool toned enough to feel a little bit different from the other polishes I have that look very similar. And the formula is incredible. Every single time I wear this, I get so many compliments because it's such an eye-catching color and it's just really easy to use. So if you don't already have Synthetic Symphony, you should really get it. Next up, we have a kind of different one. This is Cirque Hatch. And this one is not like any of the other Halloween shades that I've shown you so far, because this one is this almost white Crelly nail polish that has these little gray and silver flecks running throughout that kind of give it a little bit of like a stone finish, or I guess like a bird egg kind of finish. I know that this isn't a typical Halloween color, but for me, especially in the last couple of years, I have really started loving light gray polishes around this time of year, either on their own, just because they feel very like 
ghostly and I don't know, kind of tombstone-y or as a background for nail art because sometimes you don't want to have your nail art on a very stark white background because it kind of takes away from the design. And this to me just feels like a perfect background color for nail art. It's a really beautiful shade. I feel like you can wear this any time of year, but I think it's very nice for Halloween as well, just because like I said, it gives like this nice kind of misty gray background vibe. And of course, I love this polish. I think it's pretty underrated. So more people should know about Cirque Hatch. And my final polish in my top 15 is Fun Lacquer in Amylite. And this one is actually a topper. It's an iridescent flaky topper, but the color combination in here just feels so Halloween-y to me. When I first tried it, I immediately thought to myself, like this is the perfect Halloween topper because the flakies in here shine cool toned purple and orange primarily. And then you can also see a little bit of green in there, which like I said, those just feel like my exact Halloween colors. And I think it's such a unique combination. I have a lot of flaky toppers, but this one I would say is probably my most unique. I don't think any other brand has this color combo. So I think this is a very special one and I really love it. So those are my top 15 polishes that are currently available. But before I show you the comparison, I want to really quickly show you my honorable mentions, which I'm sure you already know what they are because I feel like I talk about these shades a lot, but they're not available. First up, we have China Glaze, but of course will remain one of my all time favorite nail polishes. It is a green base that has black matte micro glitters in it. It dries down to a matte finish and it is just one of the coolest polishes ever. I feel like China Glaze really changed the game when they came out with this polish and I think it's so fun. It's so perfect for Halloween. I actually still have my original bottle. There's only the tiniest bit left, but whenever I'm running low, I add more thinner to it. So it just keeps getting thinner and thinner, but I will never give this polish up. I absolutely love it. And then we have China Glaze I Love Your Guts, which is basically the sister nail polish to Bud of Corpse. And this is the red version, but it actually leans a little bit more pinky. And again, same situation. It's the pinky red kind of base color with the black micro glitters in it that does dry down to a matte finish. And again, I just keep on adding thinner to this over and over again because I never want to run out of it. I don't even remember what year these came out, but I love them so much. I think China Glaze historically has always come out with really incredible Halloween sets. And for some reason, they're always so super limited edition. Like I think they tend to sell out before I can even review them. This year was a little bit different from what I expected, but in previous years they have done so many unique kind of weird polishes and I just always appreciate them. Which brings me to my final polish of the video and that is China Glaze Spell the Tea. I think this was from Halloween 2020, which was another great year for China Glaze Halloween releases. And this is actually what I'm wearing right now. This one almost immediately was unavailable once it was released least and I feel like it was so hard for people to find but it just remains one of my favorite Halloween shades. It's this gray base that has sort of a grayish metallic shimmer running throughout but then we also have these larger pink and orange flex in there and they're really small, but they catch the light so incredibly. It kind of looks like little lit ashes within, I don't know, ashes. <laughs> but yeah, I love this color. I love the formula. I wish it was more widely available. If by chance you happen to find this polish or any of the polishes from their 2020 set, I definitely recommend grabbing them because they were very good. But yeah, that is it for my Halloween favorites. I hope you enjoyed them. Like I said, the 15 that I shared originally are currently available so I will link them down in the description. The three honorable mentions, I see them online available but they're not from sellers that I am comfortable sharing so you can take the risk if you feel comfortable but yeah I would love to hear your favorite Halloween nail polishes. I've already started reviewing the Halloween nail polishes for 2022 so definitely check out that playlist and you can also leave your recommendations down in the comments and we can chat about it and if you enjoy my favorite videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my very first royal astronomer, Amanda M, as well as my cosmic admirals, Rocket Man's daughter, Paula, Kenneth, and Rosie. I really appreciate all of your support and I'll see you all in my next video.
Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Pookie Bear, and Pookie Bear wants to know, do you plan on dressing up for Halloween this year? If so, what do you think you'll be? So I am planning on dressing up for Halloween this year. I'm very excited. This is the first year that I will be in Las Vegas for Halloween, and I would really love to just dress up and then go to the strip and people watch because that sounds very fun to me. But I am going to wear the same costume as I wore last year because... I liked last year's costume. Ryan and I actually dressed up together. He was an angel and I was a devil and we thought it was a fun little costume. So I think we're just gonna rewear that this year. We didn't really wear them for very long and we spent a good amount of money on them. So we may as well just wear them again. I think that's the struggle that I feel with Halloween is that it's so much fun to dress up with new stuff, but it's also very expensive to get new costumes. So I try to rewear them a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, if you wanna share what you're wearing for Halloween this year, you can leave that in the comments and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!